Hey everyone, in the last lecture, we built out the UI for the login view. We also wrote some placeholder code for the login buttons. These buttons will eventually sign users in, then switch to the chat view. Now, we'll design the chat view and code up this switching feature. Okay, in our design, the chat view has a beautiful navy top navigation bar and a logout button. We'll configure the chat bubbles later when we build the chat functionality. All right. Let's get started. As in the design, our chat view has a top navigation bar. In, I in iOS, we can create this navigation bar by embedding our UI view controller into a navigation controller. To do that, first select the chat UI view controller, then in the menu bar, click editor, then embed in navigation controller. A navigation controller is a sort of stack of UI view controllers. All right, okay, we're just going to, all right. All right, now let's uh, create a logout button. We'll need a bar button item because logout is a button on the navigation bar. All right, so drag it in and set its title to log out. All right, log out, cool. Okay, let's test it out. But wait, uh, okay, where's our login view? Okay, here it is. Our initial view is now the login view, and the app can't switch from the login view to the chat view for now, because we haven't built that feature yet. So, to see that chat view, let's make it the app initial view. So let's check option is initial view controller and its attribute inspector. Chat view will then be the one that shows up when the app launches. Let's build the app and see. Note that the logout button doesn't do anything now. We'll get to it later. All right, cool. This is our chat view with a top navigation bar and a logout button. Okay, now we know everything is working fine, so let's set the initial view back to the login view. Okay, in this app, right after users log in, they'll be directed to the chat view. For smooth transition, we'll do that in the code, the login view controller to be precise. In particular, in particular, we'll do it in the function login anonymously did tapped because we want to switch view after the users hit that button. Our idea is pretty simple. We'll set the navigation controller that governs the chat view as the root view controller. So, so switch view by setting navigation controller as root view controller. Okay, that's the whole idea. Actually, let's delete some unnecessary comments above. Okay, now we'll need something to represent the navigation controller in the code because the navigation controller belongs to our main storyboard. We'll first create a storyboard object that refers to our main storyboard. From this storyboard object, we'll initiate a navigation controller then assign this navigation controller instance to a constant. We'll then assign this constant to the root view controller. Every app has a root view controller and is created by the app delegate object. Actually, let's outline what we're going to do. First, create a main story board instance. Good, we'll fill out the code later. Now, let's just outline everything so we know exactly what we're doing. Okay, next, from main storyboard. It's the main storyboard object we created above. We use it to instantiate a navigation controller. To do that, we'll need to label our UI navigation controller so that the main storyboard knows which one we're referring to. We'll get to that later. Uh, so, from main storyboard, instantiate a navigation controller. All right, we'll assign this navigation controller instance to the root view controller. But first, we need to get the app delegate, delegate, sorry, yeah, okay. We can then get the root view controller and set the navigation, navigation controller as root. I meant root, root 
view controller. Great, that's our plan. Let's go ahead and fill out each of these steps. To create a main storyboard instance, type let storyboard be, uh, let's see, UI storyboard. Yeah, this one. The UI storyboard function creates a storyboard object here in the code. This storyboard object encapsulates a storyboard in the interface builder, identified by the name parameter. So let's go to the interface builder, which is the main storyboard file. Here we only have one storyboard. Its name is, uh, let's see, this one. Oh yeah, its name is main. So we'll sort of use the storyboard object in the code to refer to the main storyboard in the interface builder. The bundle is just nil. All right, you can hold option and click UI storyboard to see what it does. Basically, we'll use this storyboard object to find the navigation controller programmatically. Cool. So now from our main storyboard object, we'll create a navi vc constant. Then use the main storyboard object to instantiate a view controller with a certain identifier. Uh, let's leave the identifier blank for now. And for safe, cast this view controller as a UI navigation controller. Okay. This UI navigation controller object will be instance of our UI navigation controller in the storyboard file. So we need to set an identifier for the one in the storyboard file to locate it. In its identity inspector, set its ID to nav okay, navigation, uh, let's see, VC. Okay, cool. Now let's use this ID to locate our UI navigation controller. Use it as the identifier parameter we left blank before. Cool. The Navi VC constant is now an instance of our UI navigation controller. Next, let's create a, an app. Sorry, create a constant name app delegate, right? From the UI application class, use its shared instance to get the app delegate and cast it as the app delegate. We need the app delegate to get the root view controller. Its source code is in the app delegate Swift file. You can hold command and click it to get to its source code. It's not really important to explain the app delegate in detail. All you really need to know for now is it has a window variable of type optional UI window. A window is sort of things to present your views. We'll assign the navigation controller object to the root view controller of this window. All right, where are we now? Okay, we got the app delegate. Before that, we created a navigation controller object to refer to our UI navigation controller in the storyboard file. So now from the app delegate, we get its window. Then uh, we get its root view controller, then assign it, the nav navigation controller. Cool, not that bad, right? Let's see, uh, do we have any bug here? No, we're good. All right, let's check it out. Okay, later when, we, when we'll be building the login functionality, we'll first check if users are successfully signed in. If yes, we can simply run this snippet to direct them to the chat view. Also, now that the app hasn't been able to switch back from the chat view to the login view, but we'll get that to that in a few minutes. All right, the app is working. All right, let's see. Awesome, it works. Okay, so now we can switch views smoothly, but we need to make the logout button switch us back. Let's do this. As usual, let's make an IB action for the logout button to code up its behavior. Hold control and drag it to the chat view controller, then uh, choose action connection. Let's name this action logout did tapped, then connect. All right, we'll switch the view back to the login view when users tap the logout button. We can do the exact same procedure as we did for the login button. Only this time, we set the login view controller as the root view controller instead. So, let's copy the code from the login view controller. All right, hold option and then click chat view controller swift file to open it in the assistant editor. Okay, looks better. Actually, let's make them a bit bigger. Okay. Oh. OK, 
Okay, now copy the switching view snippet from the login view controller. Okay, then paste it into the logout did tapped action. Good, now let's focus on this task. All right, uh, the first line is good. We don't need to change it. Now the second line, we don't need a navigation controller. Our login view controller is a UI view controller. We need to cast this object as a login view controller. Good. We also need to identify the login view controller in the storyboard file. So, in the storyboard file, choose the login view controller. Then go to its identity inspector. Uh, where is it? Uh, okay. In its identity inspector, uh, find the ID text field. Where is it? All right, let's do it again. So in the ID text field, identify it as login VC. Okay, good. In the code, we'll use this ID to locate the login view controller. All right, great. One last thing we need to set login view controller as the view controller. All right. Oh, let's set a meaningful name for the login view controller object constant, uh, login VC. Okay, then set it as the root view controller. Cool, let's build the app and test it out. It should work because the procedure is still the same. We've simply replaced everything related to the navigation controller by those related to the login view controller. Okay, and the app is working. All right, let's log in anonymously to get to the chat view. Good, now log out, great. Okay, the Google login button doesn't do anything right now. We'll make it to be, be able to switch views by simply reuse the code we wrote for the anonymous login. So copy it and paste it to the Google login did tapped action. Okay, we've pretty much finished, but uh, let's check it out one more time. And again, we'll code up the login feature later. Okay, Google login. Great, it's really smooth. Now log out. Awesome. All right, okay, now let's see what's next. Okay, we haven't designed the navigation bar. It should be in navy, and the logout button should have a white text. All right, we can do this in the storyboard file. First, let's select the UI navigation controller, and in the document outline, select the navigation bar. All right. Then in its attributes inspector, set its bar tint to uh, select other. Then set RGB values to, okay, set red to 38, set green to 68, and blue to 102. Okay, cool. Now we need to set the text color for the logout button. Select the button. In its attributes inspector, set the tint attribute to white. All right, that's it. Our app now has a great UI. If you want to go ahead with your own design, you can use the ba different background photos or different colors. Okay, and here it is. Log in anonymously. Good. Then log out. Okay, now Google log in. Log out again. Great. That's all for the UI. Our app looks great now. It is also able to switch views smoothly. Okay. All right. In the next lecture, we'll take a look at Firebase and learn how to properly install and connect Firebase to our app. All right. See you then.